Every day, 43 kids are diagnosed with cancer. Oh my God, Jake was, uh, he was a pip, he was a happy baby. Normal, typical, healthy. Six pounds, 13 ounces, 19 and three quarter inches long. Those numbers I'll never forget. This is like the day after you were born in the hospital. So my daughter had a, uh, we, I don't know how many times we were in the ER, because she ran into something, um, she fell down from something, or she was bit by a squirrel, she caught it and put the finger in the mouth. She did these crazy things as a child. The Valerie Fund Center helps treat over 6,000 children a year, and every child has a story. Changing his diaper, Jake, he had a black, black bruise and I just couldn't understand where that bruise came from or how it got there. In came the oncologist. They felt that it, this was leukemia. I just remember being like, no, you have this wrong. My kid is never sick. There's no way that my kid would be a sick kid. Your child has cancer. It defies logic. It's the last thing that's on a parent's mind, as it should be. When a child is newly diagnosed, families are reeling. They're in sort of this fog. Um, it can really be very devastating. With an integrated team of doctors and psychosocial caregivers, the Valerie Fund Center is here to help families navigate this turmoil. Treatment starts from the moment that you walk through the door. We're gonna do whatever we can to take care of their child and the rest of their family. With the Valerie Fund and the Valerie Center, we never feel alone. We never feel like we are far away. There's always a safe spot, and Hedda would ask me to go in because she feels she needs it and she needs to see them. Hedda came to the Valerie Fund Center with a brain tumor when she was in the fifth grade. She went through treatment and she did it well. And you know, she had her ups and downs, and but she always tried to do everything. She wanted to be a part of everything and go to school and ski and do everything. So uh, right now we're living very much in a day-by-day -day basis because it's been very um, rocky. Like so many kids with cancer, Hedda's journey has been unpredictable. She was going off treatment and she fell. And we did a scan and unfortunately her tumor recurred. This last relapse has been giving us much, not much of a breath. And Hedda's been showing that she's strong and she's beating this over and over again. Nobody thinks that she's gonna be be there, and then she was back. And she's very strong. So am I just supposed to be resting? <laughs> yeah, you can rest as much as you want. Okay. Of course. You know, you learn from every single patient, and I've learned a lot from her. She, she couldn't stand when the little children were here in the in the Valerie Center. They were sick and they couldn't eat, and she wanted to take their pain, like she wanted to have their pain and take it away from them. Um, always strong. <laughs> the Valerie Fund Center also helps kids like Nasheed, who suffers from sickle cell disease. One of the complications of sickle cell disease is that you can have pain. You'll just hear him start to moan. So he'll have a pain somewhere in his body, and he'll from he'll start to moan, and then he'll just start to scream. So it escalates pretty quickly. He one time explained it to me as like it felt like it was cars in his veins crashing. That's how he explained it to me one time. He was like five or six. It feels like there's cars crashing inside of me. Your brain is too slow today. I've known him for a long time. A long time. <laughs> he was diagnosed with a severe complication known as uh, avascular necrosis of his hips. He can't, already can't play sports, so that's been taken away from him at art 13. I can't run for too long, I can't play basketball with my friends, I don't want those things to be persistent. I want him to always laugh as much as possible. We've been taking care of him in this division since his birth. For Nasheed's mother, it's hard to imagine a world without the medical and psychosocial staff of the Valerie Fund Center. They all love Nasheed, they've known Nasheed forever, and they're like a second family. So it's, I don't know where I would be without that. I have no idea what that even means. I don't know what that means, to not have the Valerie Fund in our lives. 
For families in crisis, the Valerie Fund Center is much more than a hospital. Hello. Hey. Nice to see you. They pretty much were a part of raising Jake, too. Jake was a baby when he came to us, and it seems like he's lived with cancer really all of his life. How you doing? He looks great. I like your hat. Jake was in remission, and we were hoping that would be the end of his acute lymphoblastic leukemia. But unfortunately, he had a bone marrow relapse this time. That was very, very, very scary for him and for his mom. His cancer was back for a third time. I was scared. I still am. The Valerie Fund Center staff treats every child like one of their own. This is our kid. This is our child. We would go to the ends of the earth for our child. So our goal at the Valerie Center is to make sure that we treat the whole child and the whole family. And I think that because of the services that we have here in our own Valerie Center, close to home, that helps them get through it. And I think that that's the difference, and that's why they do well. You know, it takes a village, it, it takes a village. 